uh, what so hello YouTube um, Caitlin's just out getting some driving in How much and the weather's a little weird I was gonna go back and get some pest control done in the garden yeah just keep going straight I'm trying to put this on the so on our way out we saw a military drone but I didn't get the camera out in time before it went away so we're about a half hour from the airport Hey, 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 Nature's Bounty Homestead. Anyways, um, Doc Caitlin is driving and we saw a military drone, so I tried to go live fast and missed it. Oh, so we have some crazy, wet, wet, weird weather. So today, while we were, are you going to keep going instead yeah. of going home? Just keep going straight. So. I intended on, I'm going to still do the pest control stuff, Nature's Bounty Homestead. <coughs> um, anyways, but um, we decided since we saw the military drone, okay, so today we had a big, big day. We butchered 35 Cornish Cross. We had some friends come over and we got a couple short snippets of video and some pictures, but they didn't want to be live or be on our, be on video, our friends that helped us butcher. And... Um, so that's why you didn't see a video on butchering. So my husband and I are going to do a video on what we did and what we would do differently in five weeks when we bat butcher the next batch. Anyways, pull over Caitlin. I want to get out and record this because so, so here we're like, oh, we're getting some weather in today while we were, um, yeah, I'm exhausted. Oh, and she's gone. Fine. Anyways, so today, I bet, you, so, today while we were butchering, we had some heavy plane fart action in the sky, and now we have just weird, strange, like the sunset, you can't see the sun setting, and... There's pulsing over here. You know how people are talking about pulsing? It is not lightning. It's It's been pulsing like, not, I, don't, I don't know how to explain it. It's not lightning. We're not supposed to have any weather. So this is really confusing to me. <clears throat> so who's all here? There's two people here. Who's all here? So. Caitlin went, was going driving and I tried to go live faster than doing the organic pest control stuff because we're doing some stuff in the evening that you can't do. And <clears throat> I tried to turn it on fast enough to see the military drone and missed it. And now, check out this plane fart sky and can't see anything. It's just pulsing over there. I wish I could zoom in. Can I zoom in? No. Yes, I can. I'm not good with this stuff. Let's see if I... It's just so strange. I don't know if you guys are seeing if you guys are able to see it, if I'm picking it up on my phone. I just have a Note 9, you guys. But you can see it by the naked eye. Whoa, light, like, it's just so weird. It's not your typical, you know, the that he, pink, purple hue, y'all, plain farts, purple, pink and purple hues from plain farts. You know, it's barium strontium, aluminum barium strontium, and lithium. Lithium is what causes that color. heavy, heavy, heavy plane farts today while we were processing. We were outside most of the day. Oh, thank you. Yeah, so we're seeing flashing here. Oh, now you're going to see the sun come out through. I know, isn't that weird? Look at that. The sun is just popping out. Caitlin, just shh. Is that weird? This, I've never seen a sky like this before. 
like go over here. So you guys, there's the sun, you guys. <laughs> there's north. There's the sun. Oh, I passed it. Oh, oh, for weird. There's, okay, there's the sun, which is northwest. There's west, where the sun should be. There is south. And east over here. So, very, so interesting. Back to north. Northwest, east, east, see, no, east, northwest, I mean west, oh my gosh, you guys, I've been going nonstop today with processing chickens, my brain is no longer functioning, that's west, and that's northwest, my, like, my husband is a hunter and a fisher, fisherman, a hunter, farmer, and he's like, the sun is not rising and setting where it typically does but very odd that you couldn't see the sun now it's peeking out oh god i wish i could get it better pull back a little bit the things that were i that is just the weirdest sky i've ever seen to me it's just lithium you know you put the the lithium in the air and you hit it with frequencies and there you go look to the must <laughs> Sun, moon, and stars for signs. That's just so weird. Yeah, so weird. And then it's just pulsing over here. Oh, I missed it. I turned away to get a, a and I missed pulsing. Pulsing, like pulsing. Same two different places at the same time. Yes, nature's bounty homestead. I've seen that as well. But this pulsing. Hey, Renee Thomas. This pulsing is unbelievable. So I'm, I, we're gonna do a live on pest control in the garden and stuff you have to do at night, at dusk, you know? And then Caitlin went before doing that because I'm knew i gonna use my black light in the garden, my black flashlight to look for pests, to look for the caterpillar worms. And look at that. So Caitlin wanna go for a drive and here and then we saw I got I got I missed it a military drone. Whoa! Oh, I just saw the lightning strike. I just saw the lightning. Well, that was a lightning strike. That wasn't pulsing. It's just so weird, you guys. So we ended up did seeing the sunset that peaked out right there, but it's so weird. These these skies are not these skies are not. There's flares coming off of it. Where? Oh my gosh, look at the sun. Oh my gosh, on the naked eye, you, it's like you can see flares coming off the sun. Well, I think it's just because it's hazy. Yeah, and the haziness is making look like you can see the flares coming off the sun. Oh, Caitlin's going to mess with my camera and try to... Yeah. What are you trying to do? She's trying to fix to get a better picture. No, Kayla, it's one. hard. It's hard with a Note 9. I don't have any fancy wait, wait. camera equipment. Here, wait, wait. She's taking the tripod. What are you doing? I'm just quickly cleaning it up. Okay, she was cleaning off the camera. There you go. Anyways, just very odd. Not your typical thunderstorm around here, and we're not expecting weather. And now, yeah, very weird. Anyways, I best. I guess we better get back and get back home. Evidence of two suns too at sunset. The opposite side of my house was mysteriously lit too, but it was so overcast I couldn't see a second sun. Yes. Yeah, hey, Renee Thomas, things are well. We, if I'm stumbling and fumbling, and uh, it's because we had a long day. We did our first batch of Cornish Cross for the first time. 35 today. Oh, there's th thunder, but I'm gonna hop back in the vehicle, and we're gonna get home and do what we have to button up the chickens. Now you guys look at, okay, here's, look at this. You see this field? North Dakota, you guys, North Dakota. Look at that. So over here, the corn, 
knee high by 4th of July and some of it's okay but look at how sparse it is because of the severe drought we're in some of it but you know when we're and we're god I don't know five miles from the river so we're typically in a floodplain so that's why we have a little green here but in some areas just yeah food shortages you guys some fields look good some fields not good at all that's yeah anyways we're gonna i'm gonna get back in the vehicle I just checked. We are supposed to get some okay yeah yeah get home and do the pest control we're just you know couple hundred a few hundred yards away from home now you got are yeah, you gonna no, do a three-point turnabout yeah, yeah she's learning oh you better put light your lights on oh. uh, country roads driving on the country roads Ooh, so i so we took a few short really short clips to do like a short and then pictures of the butchering process today and i suppose we started at about eight eight about eight thirty this morning eight fifteen eight thirty and we got done at about 2.30, and that's with a plucker, but 35 chickens, it was four adults and two teenagers. Um, but we took a break, you know. So, anyways, we, uh, are you turning around going no, back no, home? No, no, I will, I'm gonna go down there. Oh, you're gonna go all the way down there? Just do a three-point turnabout, right here on the road. We don't need to drive all the way down there. We gotta get back and put the chickens in. Do you want me to do it? No. She's learning to drive, you guys. You guys can turn it. You can turn it. No, I don't need to have me on. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, oh, let's show the country of North Dakota. Not me. <laughs> Messing with my typing. I didn't misspell those words. Oh, uh, yeah. Wow. Would you, so, would you like me to do it, honey? Because you're kind of making me nervous. She's 15. She, in North Dakota, she can have her permit at 15. Or excuse me, she can have her permit at 14 and get her license at 15. But with all things that CV has brought with DMV enclosures and everything of that, the like. Okay, stop. No, rotate, put the wheel all the way like this. No, you, no, stop. You got to put it in drive. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. And then just peek, go forward a little bit, yeah. and then stop, and then reverse, and then turn the wheel the, this way. <laughs> We're doing it, guys. Anyways, so I'm going to cover in the garden tonight, so, okay, stop. I know, Mommy. Oh, you so made me nervous. <laughs> <laughs> this is her first true three-point turnabout, I think. <laughs> I like this. <laughs> mm. Okay, rotate the wheel before you move, please. Stop. 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 It's fine. <laughs> She's making me so nervous. She's so I think I'm just. I think you had a couple. Shh. Oh no. Oh. oh yeah, I thought you got, got stuck, didn't you? Stuck. Yeah. It's fine. Oh. Look at that. Boy. Yes, there's. That's our farm right there. You didn't die. Guys. So. Anyways. <laughs> More of a five-point turn, but she'll get the hang of it. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. <laughs> exactly. Hey. Can't say no, no, no. Can't do that. All of those feels. She is uh -uh. Be fine. Yeah. Exactly. That's hilarious. Chill, mom. We we turn around on mountaintops. I know, right? Exactly. Uh, flat hill, oh, flat plains what? of North Dakota. Mommy is freaking out. <laughs> yeah, chill, mommy. Anyways, so my husband and I will do a video um, of what we. Did with the processing because some people can't handle it, the processing. We would have videotaped more and put it up, we could, but no, no, no. You could you can't show the killing of the chickens because it's it's you know with the blood or the blood. I don't know because Justin Rhodes puts out a lot of stuff that shows all that. I don't know. Do you guys know? Anyways, anyways, that's fine. I don't. That's fine. Oh my gosh, they yeah, probably already do because the, the, it's called Those smartphones. Okay, my teenage daughter, anyways. 
Anyways, oh, it flipped. I didn't even. Yeah, I flipped it. You flipped it because I didn't keep us safe. Anyways, we, my husband and I, will sit down and do a video on what we liked and what we will do differently. But things went fairly smoothly for for our first time. Did thirty five chickens and did it from like eight thirty to two thirty, and then some cleanup and whatever at the end. <clears throat> Anyways. Um, I noticed, I went and checked on the garden today and we have some holes in, we have some past damage that wasn't there yesterday. That, so now I have to go out tonight and, and uh, put some diatomaceous earth on the leaves. Here, so, stop for a second. So there was the, we had the kill cones hanging from that. And, and then that was where we had the trough water and all the insides, everything cleaned up, but we still have all the feathers from the plucker right there. But 35 birds today. Um, <clears throat> anyways, so there's some slug damage and then there, so I have some organic slug stuff I'll show you in the sun room. And then I have used diatomaceous earth for the flea beetles. And then um, my handy, where is it? Right here, this, right here. This I recommend, you can get them for like 10, 15 bucks. It's a black light. So but you have to wait till it's dark out. So you're not gonna be able to see on the camera when it gets too dark. I usually come out here when it's really pitch black, but I wouldn't have been able to record anything. Like it through the driving lesson. I can't hear you now because my neighbor has traumatized my turkeys. They came on the porch with me. <laughs> Oh, it's hilarious. Uh, anyways, well, just leave them there. Because, so I got get my diatomaceous, we call it our diatomaceous earth, that diatomaceous toots, <laughs> because we also ingest the food grade stuff, because that's good for you for detoxing, and it gives you the toots. So in our house, diatomaceous earth is diatomaceous toots. Anyways, in here, let me flip this around here. I have... Here's my organic. So, oh, it didn't flip. Uh, where's my videographer? So, this is organic slug magic. I put it, you just sprinkle it, they're just little pellets. Sprinkle it down on the ground, and this will take care of the slugs that are eating. The It's called Bonide Make Slugs Disappear, Baits and Kill. So, they eat it and then. They just, they eventually just, yeah, it's been, it's worked. It's a great, it's good. And then in here, oh, there's so much I haven't videotaped. So we had a broody hen and I, I, uh, in here, let me put the light on. We had a broody hen and we decided to let, try to let her hatch out some eggs. Two of them did not make it because one, a couple of the other hens decided to um, peck at the eggs too soon, but one of them did. So we have the broody hen and one baby chick. New life. Let's see if we can see the baby chick or is she protecting? Come on. Hey, hook. No, she's protecting it. And the thing is, it's not even hers. It's an Australorp and a Rhode Island Red. So it's it's Midnight's and one of the Rhode Island Reds. So here's the, the my black light. For, I'm gonna go check for cabbage worms. It'll show up and they'll show the green and the cabbage worms will show up at night if you go hunting through the garden and you just squish them and then you're not getting insecticide or anything on your plants. And here's the next batch that will be butchered in five weeks. They're going out now that the other, the ones that we butchered today were on the grass. Now the, these guys will go out on the grass in the next day or two. We'll see. So two batches of Cornish Cross next year. I think we'll do three batches. Okay. And I came in here for the diatomaceous earth. I should have been better prepared because I wasn't going to go live till I had every, all my stuff. But we went live soon because while Caitlin was driving because we saw the military drone. And then the weather, and here I am looking for my diatomaceous toots. Hmm. 
Where did it go? Well, you know, food grade diatomation, well, the garden safe stuff is fine for your plants. Um, uh, if I were to have my, my chickens around, if I were to have my chickens, oh, there's Caitlin. If I were to have my chickens around the plants, which they don't, they're not, they don't get in here. Unless we accidentally leave the gate down, which the boys did the other day and we had some casualties, but anyways, so I'll show you the pest damage over here before we lose too much light. So you can see in here the holes. So those are slugs and flea beetles, depending on the hole. There's some slugs and then there's some flea beetles. So diatomaceous earth will get sprinkled on the leaves. Caitlin, can you go find the diatomaceous earth? And then this will get sprinkled around the plant and maybe underneath the fabric a little bit and then the, at night the slugs come out and will eat it and then they'll die and then they can't eat your plant and then so diatomaceous earth is for all hard-bodied insects like grasshoppers flea beetles stuff like that and grasshoppers are really bad and causing some damage too so you see here's the broccoli so that was the brussels sprouts this is broccoli so we got some holes here caitlin took over filming so the a couple Here, of these leaves the, are okay. Shine, shine the well, this is this is my black light oh. though. They can you can see it, but I'm gonna have to. Yeah. Anyways, so diatomaceous earth will get sprinkled. You can even spread it down too for the flea beetles on the ground around the plant, and uh, on the foliage. And then the slug stuff on the ground. And then I'm totally repeating myself because it's been such a long day. If I didn't have to do this, I would have done this video tomorrow night because I'm exhausted. Anyways, neem oil for soft bodied insects. For, so now we're, since I'm putting diatomaceous earth on them, I can't spray neem oil for a couple days. Um, neem oil is all for all soft bodied insects like cabbage worms and stuff like that. So right now I'm going to take my black light and go over to my tomato plant. It's not oh, flipping. Really. It's not flipping. Okay. Also, it's gonna rain. We're yeah. supposed to get some thunderstorms, mommy. I checked the weather. A little. Yeah. There's some funky. So what you do is you go underneath the leaves, and then if you have a, I, I'm hope I don't. I'm not hoping to find a cabbage worm, but you will see. They'll show up because they're green. They will just jump right out at you. I didn't have, these all look really good. Like, I don't think I have any damage. I had some leaf curl, but that's from the dry. So if you see leaf curl, this leaf curl is because it's really dry. But when it curls like this, it, it issues. Yeah, so there's, it's, the leaf curl means different things. Oh, and then MI Gardener just put out a video and I thought it was very interesting. So curly top. So leaf curl that I have going on is not bad to the plant at all. It's just because it's so dry. I watered forever yesterday, but some plants are just not tolerating. It is good. So can pick up that then. But I, what I saw that he had talked about was curly top. If you've ever heard of curly top, that's, I'm looking for the curly top. So that's when your plant gets a virus. So here, right here on top. So. So there's a, um, the thing is, is in plants and tomato and plants, viruses don't spread only. So I wish I had a regular flashlight, flashlight to show you the curly top. So this, the, all you can do for curly top. So it's, it's come, it's a virus that's spread by a green insect, green hopping insect that jumps and then bites your plant and gives it a virus. But the virus does not spread to the other plants like blight or fungus or bacteria the blight is a fungus you know or bacteria those will spread from plant to plant so what you can do is you can top the tomato plant and then it'll throw out offshoots and you can get rid of the virus or you just take it out 
if you have see you know we're later we're zone three here so these didn't get these are my smallest plants i have some bigger plants of course but if i already had fruit on it won't damage the fruit or the seeds or anything um but um what i intend to do because you know a couple of them have that curly top so then if it, the topping off the plant doesn't work to put out healthy offshoots and get rid of the virus when i prune some of my larger plants some of my larger plants like over here i have some larger plants that are really healthy that need to be somebody else's watch be put up anyways when i prune them because I, I, I have learned my lesson is I, did you just in accidentally, head? Uh, I have you learned my answer. lesson that I will heavily prune my tomato plants to help ward off disease. So a lot of these have curly top. I am not hit. So this batch that I, I got, I got these from a nursery. So that's probably the problem. Anyways. What I'll do is when I cut, when I prune, um, I will take the suckers and I will root them in water because they'll be a lot, the, the larger plants will have larger suckers on them. I'll root them in water and then I will go ahead and throw them in the ground where I have curly tops from the vi from the virus. But it's so dry. I, I'm watering all the time. Our water bill is ridiculous and our plants are still. Your battery's at like 15%. Oh, yeah. Hey, Miss Aussie Garden. Let me check the chats now that so I kind of went. I went through the close the garage door. Yeah, so I went through some stuff with the garden and why I'm out here with, with my black flashlight. Yeah, the big garden. Oh, it's not working. Oh, I don't want it on me. I want it on the plants. So you shine. I was I I kill a uh, cabbage moth or a cabbage worm. The other day but I thought I would come out here and show you what I do yeah go ahead and show oh I will take care of the garage I'm, I'm gone live I'm not gonna close the garage right now oh anywho's shine the light right underneath and then you'll they'll just glow right up like neat they're neon green and then you're like oop squish gone man yeah, I have to get. I gave I gave I I gave him so much water yesterday, and this is. Hmm. Looks like I had a couple. I must have had a couple green insects. Jump on here. I'm finding more stuff with curly top, which is no good. Yeah, some of these are needing to be staked up and they're fall, fell. It was so windy today, you guys. So as I'm coming along, I'm putting up my tomato plants here. So I'm not real. It was really windy. Anyways, I would imagine that if it's a big weekend for fireworks over there, they have been banned here for good 30 years. Wow, 30 years? Well, yeah, so we're not doing the fourth. We will go watch fireworks where things are, we, we will go watch fireworks where things are going to be supervised, but we are not, we are not um, doing fire. We did fireworks out. We did our son's birthday a week early last year and had it because of COVID had fourth of July outside for people that, you know, you know, to be respectful with everything. And oh, see, look, I have some new blossoms right here on the strawberries. This is my, and these I have to pluck off. This is my first, this is their first year. So you have to pluck off the blossoms. So you have a more prolific year the following year. So whenever I see blossoms, I'll pluck them. So I'm not gonna have strawberries this year. Just pluck the blossoms and then we'll end up. Anyways, yeah, it was awfully windy today. So I just wanted to show you what I do with black light. If I have extra time in the evening and it's a nice cool evening and a nice breeze and the bugs aren't bad, I'll come out here with this and just check for cabbage worms on all my plants underneath the leaves and everything and nip it, nip them in the bud. Then I don't have to do the neem oil because when the plants are this small, 
yet. You don't want to have to use neem oil if you don't want to because it can burn them. That's why you put neem oil at night after dusk because you don't want the sun hitting it. It can burn the plant. So organic gardening comes with risks as well. If So you can... Anyway, so I'm gonna, I'm, my phone is like at 10% or something like that. So I'm gonna finish up sprinkling out the slug stuff here. So they're just some holes there. there. I'll show you what they look like, little pellets like that. I'm gonna take care and do that and go get the diatomaceous earth and sprinkle that on top. And I'll take a picture and I'll put that at the end of this video in the replay if you wanted to see how you just sprinkle it on top. Um, doesn't uh, doesn't hurt the plant at all and anyways so thank you for stopping by and we'll put up a quick short quick short on some stuff with the butchering process today and I tell you there's some lettuce there and my other beans I planted sooner but my lettuce and my spinach it's just been for 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 North Dakota 90 to 100 degrees is not conducive to yeah unless I had a tunnel you know grow a greenhouse or a tunnel and could put shade cloth up right then it's better for everything here I have some radishes coming in here and the extra spots radishes and okra and all kinds of fun stuff Lots of work to be had here come processing. Short growing season, which means very short, um, very short processing season, right? Good to see you, Nature's Bounty Homestead in my Aussie garden. And um, who else was in here? It was uh, Sir Budrick. Thank you for stopping by. And there was a few others that stopped by, but thanks for commenting and stopping by. And I will, my husband and I should do lives every once in a while. Kind of like how Roots and Refuge, they sit down as a couple and do lives and chit chat about stuff going around the farm. And so I think maybe we should start doing that once a week or something or bi-weekly or something. I don't know. But Brian and I will get together so all the monsters are gone out of there and in the freezer. I will say the next batch, instead of doing eight weeks, we will be doing nine weeks. And the only reason why we did eight, it says eight to nine weeks for Cornish Cross, and this is our first time, you know. We would have done probably, now that we've done it, we would have done nine, but we didn't know better. And next weekend, it's our son's birthday, so we're not going to do, anyways, we're not going to do. Oh. Yeah, so look, this, like the sun is set. Right? You saw the sun set at the beginning of this live. And what is, like, the sun is set. <laughs> at the, it went down during the, lo in the very beginning of the live. And now the wet, now apparently Caitlin said we're getting some weather. Which we weren't supposed to. All of a sudden, you know, we're getting weather. I just, that is unbelievable. You all saw the sun set, right? Does that look like the sunset yet, you guys? I don't. I, I don't know. We're Central Time Zone. What is it? Almost. Is it like 9:40 right now? Something like that. I don't know. So look at that. We'll walk down here. Some pretty impressive light show going on over here. The sunset, you guys. Where is that com light coming from? We saw the sun go down. You, yeah, nature's not home. You saw the sunset. Yeah. The, so where is that light coming from? The sun is down. <laughs> we saw, unless there's two of them, like, right? Because the sun that we saw go down was northwest. And that's west, you guys. But you don't see where. <laughs> am I just am I just like overtired from a long day of 90 degree weather butchering chickens? I don't know. 
here you go. Look at that. That's pretty impressive. But when, when we were butchering chickens, our friend Tom was like, look, they're doing it again, right over us. Plain fart, plain fart after plain fart. Got some thunder rolling. Yep. Pretty. <laughs> so, not supposed to have weather. Now we're getting full of lightning. It travels. I know, yep. I'll be heading in. I think since we got the unexpected, we may get this unexpected shot of rain. I may, as much as I want to do something about the pests on the plants, I may have to wait till tomorrow. Because there's no sense in putting it out if it's going to be washed away. You want to, you want to put it on the plants so it stays on the plant for a day or two. Like go, like do it. Like I watered just recently, so I can throw everything on the plant and then wait a couple days for watering and then. Whoa, time for me to go in, I think. Anyways, it's uh, pest control is going to be hard this year because a drought with the drought comes grasshoppers, and the grasshoppers were bad last year, you all. Like now, this year, oh my word. So, I'm backpedaling it down the back down the driveway so you can see the light show. Here's our natural 4th of July, I guess, right. 4th of July. Yeah. Anywho, yeah, so my phone says low battery. So if I just, if the live stream gets cut, that's because I'm on low battery. Oh, so it's so nice out here though. Nice breeze, not, it's cooled down when you're, when you're butchering chickens and was it 93 degrees today? Yeah, feels real good right now. Anyways, I'll have Caitlin put together a little, she likes doing this stuff. Ooh, did you see that? She likes doing all this stuff. I'll have her put together a little short on and some pictures of uh, what we did today. Whoa, that was tremendous. Huh. Anywho, time to turn around and walk the other way. Anyways, but thanks for stopping by. Just, just showing you the organic pest control I was going to do. And then, yeah, I, I can lay the slug. That, I'm going to go put the slug stuff down, but I can't put the diatomaceous earth down. That'll just completely get washed away. I, yeah, what? It's only 72 here today and now it's 61. What? You in nature's bounty. You're in a much warmer time, you know, we're zone 3, North Dakota. Yeah, this this is not normal like we 3 weeks ago. 3 weeks ago. We're talking Ju June. Early June. It was 102 here. Broke a record. And I'm like, that doesn't happen. And last time it was, it was like 2012 in August. That's so not, that's so not, um, yeah. You know, yeah. It is winter over here, cold and overcast. Never snow is here, thankfully. Yes. Yeah, it's bipolar weather. Yeah, usually people say bipolar North Dakota weather. More bipolar than typical, that's for sure. Well, I'm going to put my diatomaceous toots. Remember that diatomaceous earth? We call it diatomaceous toots. I'm going to put that container. What I did for that, which I didn't even, you can't see it on here. This is an old coffee mate thing. We don't take drink that any, the powder anymore. But, um, and pop holes in on the top and then sprinkle the diatomaceous earth. Put diatomaceous earth in here and sprinkle, and it's like a, you know, a salt shaker for your diatomaceous earth to just squeeze the powder onto the leaves of the plants. Anyways, off to do the slug stuff before my phone dies. You guys have a wonderful evening and take care and have a good one and we'll, 
um, put up a short clip of what our, what we did today. Take care and God bless and happy 4th of July. Stay safe and be safe and full armor of God, y'all. And much love, peace, love, and light.